Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special guest that I want to introduce you, okay? So, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to chit chat and talk about our content, you know, basically. So, it's my pleasure to introduce you the one and only Ava Perry! Yay! <laughs> so, just stay glued and then enjoy the conversation. If you have any questions, put it in the comments and we'll be glad to answer them, okay? So, this is it, dude. We are going to be doing this whilst doing our makeup. Um, my name is Juliana Awating, like you all know. So. And my name is Dana Ama Oruswa, aka Ama Pari. Shit. <laughs> we are. Theory, you are point blank theory. How Amapari. did you get the Ama Pari? Hmm. Hey, God. This one, if I say it, they'll catch me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I like Pari. I've been using it for like mm. a very long time. Mm. Anybody who knows me on social, on Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. Mm. I'm, I'm a Pari. Like I'm a Pari. Because I'm manifesting Pari into my life. P <laughs> <laughs> to the R to the O to the B. Exactly. You know, I'm manifesting Pari into my life. As this is the first video, I just want to talk about what inspired me to create content. Mm -hmm. Because we all know, we all I know. know. <laughs> so first and foremost, the TikTok thing. We all downloaded TikTok when the pandemic hit. So I was just there. I've been watching videos. I see my friends doing videos. Uh -huh. Sometimes I'm like, hey, so don't even add me. But anyway. <laughs> then I posted like one or two videos. I wasn't even really thinking about it. And then my good friend, Sharon. Sharon, I'm going to make millions of dollars and I'll take you to France with me, okay? Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> She's like, um, you dress nice. You, you have nice clothes, like you're stylish. So like show people how to dress on mm -hmm. TikTok and that. I'm like, no, I don't want to do it. <laughs> she actually bought me my tripod for Aww. free. She gave me free tripod. Like she bought it for me for free. Aww. I know. And she'll be like, do it this way, do it that way. Friends, that's Download friends. Cap cuts. Do you know I'm like it's just like you can do it your least but do it. <laughs> So I started and then I posted like some two videos. Mm -hmm. It didn't really blow. I'm mm. like, fine, it doesn't really. Then one time I was going to work. There's one favorite video, like that's what made me go viral. Mm. I did my get ready with me and I did a voiceover. And mm -hmm. true to God, I didn't even know Ghanaians are funny like that. <laughs> so usually the things that happen in my head is mm -hmm. what I say in the videos when right. I'm getting ready right. and, you know leaving alone closing your zip you know all those kind of yeah. things and yeah, I have small thoughts in yeah. my head like you know so I was just doing my voiceover and I did the voiceover I closed from work I did the editing I posted the video I fell asleep mm. and I woke up thousands of <laughs> messages and notifications <laughs> this person has commented this person has liked your video I'm like what is happening what hold on happening? what is happening and like oh people and people are like oh we like the voiceover we like Aww. like oh wow okay so, so initially you started posting without voiceovers no yeah no i was doing like the real time voice thing. oh okay. like okay i'm wearing this i'm wearing okay. that like okay. it was like two videos okay like, i'm wearing this i'm wearing that i'm doing but then i did the voiceover and people liked it and i'm like oh and the perfume part, the poof mm -hmm. poof part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every time people see me, they're like, hey, poof poof. Yeah. poof. So I have to say, oh, the anthem. I'm like, oh, wow. So that's it. So that's how I, I got into it. Sharon inspired it. She's like, you can do it, so do it. You have enough, enough clothes to yeah. create content, be a beauty cut. I'm like, oh my God, okay. Oh. And so here we are. So shout out so to Sharon. Oh, Sharon, thank you. <laughs> but for me, I love I love doing stuff myself mm -hmm. because of my background. Yeah. I didn't I wasn't privileged to have so many things accessed to me or provided to me on my mm -hmm. laps. So I had to learn how to do things myself. Things, exactly. Including my hair, my makeup, like everything as a lady, right? Yeah. And I love beauty stuff. I love beauty. I remember when I was very small, I would apply a lot of like hair cream on my eyebrows. Eyebrow, oh my god. Like, I love beauty stuff. So my mother would have killed you. You know? <laughs> but then I was I was more into creating Something like DIYs mm -hmm. uh -huh, yeah. with, with stuff. So I posted my very first YouTube channel. It was actually a DIY. That's what I started my channel with. Okay. Uh -huh, my, hey, my first YouTube video. video. <laughs> video. So that's what I started my channel with. And I mean, people loved it. So that's how I also started creating. And then eventually I learned that the beauty stuff is what I find the most Joy. interesting exactly. and less expensive. <laughs> 
you know, because yes, DIYs are so expensive. I know, right? So getting expensive. you things sometimes. I mean, like you know what? Let me just go and buy the already made. Thing. Yeah, it's so expensive, and it's, it's it's interesting how friends are the ones who usually motivate exactly. and push us exactly. to do what. So everybody needs a friend in their lives. Like, you know, a friend that will motivate you to do good things. You not know, the one who motivates you to do bad things. You know, I mean, by Sharon, my friend, uh -huh. she'd be like, "Today's Friday. Are we not going anywhere?" <laughs> Who motivates you to go to yeah. church? Who motivates you to do, uh -huh. do your work? Uh -huh. And then, and have some the life. Too. Have you had any challenges in creating in content? content. In, yeah. What are the challenges? I know Ghana, we have a lot of challenges. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of things we do. Yeah. So, I would say, you know, b before we moved here into this apartment, we're staying at another place and we're sharing a wall with a poultry farm oh okay so that's when i started and we used to stay by a roadside and a busy roadside actually so anytime i got a chance to shoot so for example shooting on a saturday like this you hear that's when you hear a lot of funerals around and uh, we said a wall with a cemetery so that's why you hear a lot of ambulance and funerals yeah, yeah. so i had to learn how to film in the night already i'm an nocturnal okay so i, I mean it, it, even though it wasn't something that came as a difficulty but the whole experience of content creation in the night was an, a whole experience for mm -hmm. me and because i was quite sensitive i didn't want to um, disrespect my my neighbors by talking, talking in the night and they can hear you. exactly playing oh. music and then doing transition videos you know it, it, it's a little disturbing because putting myself in their shoes i didn't want to to inconvenience anyone sure, at all sure. so it was really a challenge for me and i'm glad that we finally moved uh-huh and the, the other thing is the fact that i didn't have a lot of gadgets i really i started with my phone as well i started with my phone my android i've always used android by the way so android for the win so mm. you are not moving to iphone <laughs> think i will why not i'm not sure i don't think i will anyway i'm not, not like a, a die hard iphone person i always tell my friends that if mm -hmm. my iphone is not working right now yeah and i get an android that works you I'm, it. It. I'm not you know some people will not use anything apart from android I'm or android. not use anything apart from me i'm not like that as long as it's working uh -huh. I'm, good. I'm good i've never used an iphone before in my life Oof, never okay. since i switched to iphone i've mm. never used an android i no see ones. I, I have been using Android, so I started with my Android and then a ring light because I now have all the equipment I need. For me, it would be with space too mm -hmm. because the kind of content I create, so you have to show your full self. Yeah. But I live in a New York apartment in Accra. <laughs> it's tiny, a tiny space. A New York apartment? I yes. Like I live in a New York apartment in Accra. It's a tiny space. Mm. And, but my, my house is cool, just that the space is tiny. Mm. And, I have, and I get sunlight so I, I didn't even until my birthday i didn't even have a ring light i don't oh. i've still not even really used the ring lights everything is done from my phone and lights that comes through my window mm. yeah but the thing is because i juggle work with this content yeah. creating the editing yeah sometimes you are focused on the editing instead of your work or yeah. you are focused on work instead of you know and you're like you have to post there are times you need to post this yeah so you have to do this before but it's it's okay since we said we'll do it. We find ways to do it. You know. So I think my next, my other challenge would be the equipment, like mm. all this setup. I yeah. need to get all of these. Amen. Okay. I think you are doing do. well. Thank you are doing well. I know you are going to get all the equipment you need. Wait. Already, you are doing well. So imagine if you get all the other equipment. Hey. Hey. <laughs> it's over for everybody. It is over. <laughs> Have you worked with any brands yet? Uh, brand no 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 like i've worked with i've i've had some people who sent because i do the get ready with me and it's entails like dresses mm -hmm. i've had people who've gotten in touch say oh we want you to we want to send you clothes and mm -hmm. then you wear it for our thing you do and i'm like look i appreciate the fact that you want me to do this but i already have clothes yeah so if you send me just clothes and you're not paying me for no, it's a no from me. So if you if you can if you can see on my page, I hardly get. And some of the people who want to pay good money to are not brands that I resonate with. Ah. I don't want to come and sell flat to me. To yeah, to people. I'm already skinny. You have, already your, you have your standards. I can't come and tell you that I drank this and I got that when yeah. it's not true. Yeah. So I'm not going to be greedy and take the money and come and lie to my yeah. followers. That I will not do. Yeah. So yeah, unfortunately. 
the kind of brands that I'm hoping will get in touch with me are not. Mm. And the ones who are to want like they want to give you things and that no, it doesn't it doesn't cut. And the fact that they think giving you the items is the payment for the video. I already have it. But no, even if I don't have it, you know I have light bills to pay. Exactly. I have internet to buy. Exactly. I need to sit and, and edit. It's not easy. If it were easy, you would have figured out how to do it. So please don't come and give me things. I'm giving you things too. I appreciate it. But add something. Let's talk money. And whatever you talk money with them, they are gone. Some people, you know, someone contacted me. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, I'm doing this. I don't want to mention. I don't want to put it. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing this, so I want to send you for you to sample it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, thank you. But how much are you willing to pay? And they're like, oh, since we are now starting, um, fifty cities. Huh? I'm like, uh huh? I'm like, thank you, but no, that's not what I charge. Uh, I'm not taking that. So, thank you very much, but no. Can you imagine? That is respect. That, and you know, if you go and talk about it, they'll be like, "You just came, yeah. You know, you and just I came. just came and you reached out to me. <laughs> you well, just, you didn't know I just came. came. You just came. So then, I'm like, brands in this our can I know things are hard in this country or in this continent or whatever, but. 50 cities, are you for real? So yes, I'm still hoping to get, you know I love hair. Yeah. Hair, hair. Yeah. So I'm still hoping to get hair. Hair, hair deals. Hair deals. Um, you know, dresses. Yeah. And the perfumes and everything. Yep. Yeah, but all the time when my followers ask me, so where did you buy this? Where did you, I, I, would, I would tell you where I bought it. So yeah. So with the clothes, and I like African print, so I like when someone makes dresses and it fits me perfectly. Yeah. Yeah, so I would like to work with brands like that. But don't tell me you are just sending me the thing. And, and then you do it for free. Oh, no. Because before you reached out to me, I was already existing. Exactly. I was already existing. I was already posting videos. I was, I was already dressed. It's like me telling you because I have followership on TikTok. I'm sending you clothes. Just show me dress. Exactly. It's disrespectful. Very, very disrespectful. To your craft. So why do you think it's okay to do it to me? Exactly. Anyway. So, I mean, it's, it's the same thing with me as well. It's one of the challenges as well. These brands are so disrespecting. And it's not as if they do not know. Well, some genuinely don't, don't know. know. So when you tell them and you give them all the layouts, they understand. But it comes very surprising when big brands are the ones who tend to try and cheat you, cheat you. you know. It's true. And when you have your standards, you don't settle for less at no. all. I mean, there are certain compromises you would make because there are brands you genuinely love, love. that yeah. you use every blessed day, every blessed blessed day. Because that, so, so for example, if you have a body cream, a brand that you use, because you use it every day, it's so hard to hide it from your audience. Exactly. Because at the same time, you are. You are giving value to your audience. You want your audience to also get into what you are getting into. And so hiding it from them is not a comfortable thing to do at all, to be honest. It's not comfortable at all. But I'm just glad that some of us are learning this early. Oh, and not allowing I do. Like, so I went online. I went online. I read thoroughly. I watched videos mm -hmm. about all these influencers who've made it. Yeah. Some were like, they had to... When they were starting, they mm -hmm. were taking um, gifts or products yeah. as payment. Yeah. But no, how many clothes can you... My, my room is not even that big to accommodate all the clothes you think you want to send me. Yeah. Or all the shoes you... I would love, I would love someone to reach out to me and say, oh, let's do this shoe deal or whatever. Yeah. But even when you're giving me the thing, you know that a girl must eat. Exactly. Yeah. And at least even if they are they are not going to pay anything, what I normally say is before I sit down to film a video, apart from the equipment I have invested, money. the amount of money that goes into buying equipment, quality filming equipment alone and my electricity i have to put on the ac i can't put on the fan because it's, it will disturb the it's video exactly. so i have to put on the ac if you're not giving me anything to even pay off the bills i will use to sit and shoot a video before the workmanship itself so there's a lot of factors that goes into they don't pricing. they don't get it everybody and thinks maybe it. you just put your phone on your on you and then no oh, what about the time spent filming the video what about the time editing it exactly That's and sometimes too it's not just about the product because if it was just about the product then they will do it themselves exactly it comes with so for example if you are giving me a hair to promote and at the end of the day if i i can't just wake up and bath and put on the, the hair i can't if you give me a braiding extension i can't wake up and put like 
Me, me, to me, fan to treat me tea. Mm-hmm. I have to braid. If you give me a wig, I have to wear it. And wearing it, I'll wear a dress. A dress. Whose dress should I use exactly. to wear? Are you giving me a dress? No. I have to wear makeup. All the makeup I'm using is for different brands. Mm-hmm. Are you giving me makeup to complement the the hair? Because I have to look good to bring out the beauty in the hair. And if you are not considering all this, so at least, even if you are not paying for my workmanship, pay for some of these factors. The dress I'm wearing, they the makeup I'm doing, the bills, mm-hmm. electricity, as In our me. part of the world, they don't want Because look, when I joined TikTok, mm-hmm. I was on TikTok and Michaela joined. You know Michaela, the yes. makeup. Yes. I was there when she came. Now look at Michaela. Can you imagine if they were paying her in makeup? How many makeup would she wear in a day? Exactly. Can you imagine if I was there? I'm, I'm so happy for her. She's like one of the people I've met on TikTok. Like I don't know, wow. but I'm wow. happy for. Like she has she has put in the work. Yeah. And you can see it's it's paying off. Yeah. But she hasn't bought a house. Exactly. You can't buy a house from getting makeup. Product. No. So what you are sending me the products, so I should go and sell it before I can make the money. Exactly, because makeup make don't pay our bills. You should sit and know that people are putting in the effort, so pay their worth. Exactly. If, if you don't feel, if you don't think I am what will promote your work, then don't come in. Exactly. Don't reach out to me. Don't reach out to me. Don't reach out to me. How much I'm going to charge you? And when I tell you that maybe I'm charging you like a thousand, you say you are going to give me fifty cities. What the heck? <laughs> what the actual egg? I mean, it, it's okay. It sometimes it's okay to accept gifts if you really love the gift. Exactly, accept it. I mean, we are not saying don't accept gifts. I mean, we've done free collaborations. I mean, even the brands that don't pay us, we still mention them in our videos anyway. Accept it. But for brands who are giving you a tons of work to do, somebody will request for you to do maybe five videos, post Instagram reels, post TikTok, post YouTube, and then. I ask you to do multiple videos and not give you anything. No, that's, so that's what we are trying that's a to no say. I don't know if you are trying to use, as a who you see me panel. Yeah, just because you gave me person. your brand, I'm supposed to go and do all of these. Exactly. No. See, I've got I've got people who've sent me stuff. Genuinely they've sent me stuff. Yeah. And it's not we didn't come to an agreement that oh I'm sending you this for you to and mention my no. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So uh, it's there. I've not even touched them or if it's, it's when ask them when I touch them, I'll give you the shout Yeah, out because you are not obligated. I'm not to, uh, at, at all. all. The person you just say, "Oh, I like you," and I'm sending you this. It's appreciated. I yeah. like it. But don't tell me you are sending me dresses and mm-hmm. I have to do four videos, five. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That's one day. Mm-hmm. And then from the best, not to be accepting gifts as payment. So yeah. we are still waiting for. The brands that understand what this is mm-hmm. and want to work with us, me, nice I give my all in all. Like when I'm doing something, I'm all out. Yeah. In whatever I'm doing. And especially if you know that what you are doing, you are going to produce quality for the person or for the brand and you don't want to do it. Shame on all of you. <laughs> any, any brand who does this, shame, shame, shame. 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 The dog bags, whoa. And the pussy cat, meow. Yeah. Shame. 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 Oh, so God. annoying. God help us. Amen. We'll get there. We'll get there. We will. In fact, we are getting there. Next, next day, by this time, when we are doing our next video, we'll be like, oh, I bought the house from this brand. Oh, you know, you know, <laughs> you know. So, how do you handle like Kate's comments from people? You know, people are just there; they don't like you. Yeah. What even if you breed, they don't like you. Yeah. So how do you handle that? For me, I deal with them in my comment section. I, I don't, I, I don't spare anyone who tries to be foolish. <laughs> I don't. I will not spare your life under my comment section at all. I'll deal with you. I'll put you in the right place. Unless, of course, I don't want to mind you. Mm -hmm. If I don't want to mind you too, I block you or I delete your comment. So, because at the end of the day, I am the one who is in control. I make the wheels move. I I decide. Exactly. I decide what stays on my page. And your comment depends on my mercies Mm -hmm. to stay in my page. Exactly. If I don't approve of your comment, it will not stay on my page. <laughs> so for me, I deal with them. I don't I don't like to make a video to address it. But if it makes me feel like I'm giving you too much attention, mm. you don't deserve it. Mm. So I if I can't stand it, sometimes I just leave them be. If I can't stand it, I just go. So last time I did a get ready with me video. Yeah. I didn't talk. I'm like I'm leaving it for the followers to do that because you you basically know what I'm going to say next. Yeah. So I want you to do that yourself. Yeah. And for whatever reason, TikTok took me to the southern part of Africa. The Kenyans, the South Africans, the Ugandans, they descended yeah. on me. Seriously. Why are you not wearing this? Why why are you why are you spraying the perfume? That's too much. 
It's my perfume. Excuse me. I got it with my own money. Are you seeing your body in the video? Excuse like, you. Someone is saying I'm triggering the asthma attack just because I'm 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 spraying my own perfume that I bought because the perfume is expensive. Why are you? Why are you? I'm like, Shame. oh my god! But, oh, that's it. Oh, and some people were passing so many mean comments. So if I see that the comment is so mean, I look for you. I block you. I delete your comment because it's I can't have it. One day. I am very. My friends that know me know me that I'm savage. Look, I can tell you something. You hit your head on it. <laughs> I don't want to do that with you. So just block it because. I will not let you have my good energy. Yeah. Why do you just wake up and be leaving hate comments? If you don't have anything to say, don't say anything at all. It's because they, they, they are just you. bored and they see that they can't do what you do. So the only way is to discourage to you. Try to discourage you and bring you down. That's the sole purpose of some people on this earth. <laughs> they discourage you and then try to demean your efforts. If you bring that attitude to my page, I'm going to deal with you messlessly in my <laughs> comment section. You people have you heard messlessly? Okay, okay. Those who don't know, no. those those who don't know. I know. Sometimes I see some of them like Juliana. Take it easy, I beg. Those who don't know, I must, I must spare you because what I've realized on social media is if you don't maintain some certain standards on your page, and if you post a particular video and a negative comment comes, then another negative exactly. one. If you don't address, address that it. particular negativity, mm -hmm. you would only see because people have people fail to think by themselves. Even if you are not, even if I don't have any bad intention, when I come and see a negative comment, I'll try and look for the negative. Negativity in the in video it's and it's very yeah. contagious negativity is contagious so i will not allow you to infect other people who are watching to comment other negative to see negativity in my video it's true. so when you come into the comment section and you see that i've addressed somebody mercilessly you you, you, do that. you <laughs> it's true you it's true. hey you, hey i'm yeah, exactly. me jimmy <laughs> uh -huh. so you know so it's, it's just you have to address like, them if you don't have anything to say don't say anything don't say anything what is it what do you get no what do you get from leaving hate comments i'm one i'm i'm one person who doesn't like writing comments in instagram mm. uh, it's these days that I, I, I started like passing comments on even on TikTok. I didn't mm. even like doing that because it's not like I don't have anything nice. I don't even want to see that notification that somebody liked it. Or, mm. But now that I am doing it myself, like I try to pass good comments to encourage whoever is doing yeah. it. If like this is your makeup video, it's nice. So I'll just say, oh, this is nice, you know. Yeah. You don't have to come and say anything bad. Why? They, they, they refuse to, and some people refuse to get the fact that not every content is for your consumption. Exactly. Exactly. You, you don't have to comment on every video because not everything on the internet um, attracts your interest because we all have our different interests. So if you decide to comment on every or every video you become like a fool because you are just joining the masses and you don't it's like you don't know what you want one, exactly so you are because, just feeding off anything exactly that post. those are the gullible ones those are the ones that you know those are the people that fall prey to internet scam Anytime. exactly like your, your intelligence is so little exactly so, so you are waiting for someone to install the creator and then you also come and insult them. exactly for what like have your own feelings so are your feelings even valid yeah. They are not valid. Don't exactly. Do that. Exactly. And you're fine. Cut something negative. Just because she he, he or seen. she has seen a negative comment, then they will just join the bandwagon and then fool alongside with them. Not on my watch. No, not on my watch. Not today. What do you, like game of the what do you tell the god of death? Not today. So what I'll tell upcoming creators is that as soon as you start a, a, a page or content creation, try to set standards for yourself. Like I was saying, it is not every brand that you would work with. You already have your personal values, you have your moral values. I, I almost said bro. <laughs> I'm a male. <laughs> you have your moral values, you have your standards, you have your own personal policies, stick to them. Don't say, oh, this brand is offering me this amount of money, so there's no way I can turn it down. Remember, remember so they many- They are to everything. Exactly. People look up to you, to the standards you, you start with. People will look up to you based on the standards you start with. So stick to them. If you are for A, B for A. If you are for B, B for B. So that you don't, just do anything mm -hmm. out of from nowhere you are just doing things you are, you are just moving with the with the no, crowd no don't money. do it don't do it like that take it one step at a time don't instead of focusing on following and views post what you love best i tell you that you are going to have the shock of your life and be yourself like 
always be yourself don't try to impersonate someone you can learn from someone but you have your own personality so why would you want to impersonate someone uh -huh. you know, exactly. you know, at, the, at the end of the day you get lost and you you have identity crisis you ask yourself who am i because you you are you are you are imitating somebody else so have your own authenticity authenticity uh -huh. authenticity have your own authenticity and be yourself as much as possible so that because the moment you try to be like someone you would have to continue to either lie to yourself and your audience and you'll never be fulfilled in what you do but if you are genuinely posting content that interests you and you do what you love and you um you are you, you personify the, the whole content you become yourself and you don't struggle True, okay you true. don't struggle with the content so you sit behind the camera and you are happy because it comes naturally it you are just being yourself exactly because if you're if you're copying someone and the person stops posting right now so like what would you do exactly she exactly genuine stick true to what you love exactly but you know when you love it it comes easy so you don't easy. see it as a chore so easy. sometimes i'm very lazy i don't want to shoot then you remember some Followers saying, Oh, I like your videos. Yeah. So, I mean, your clothing inspire me. Then yeah. I just get up, put on the tripod, and then I And start. then you start to shoot. Huh, what the future looks like with content creation? I see the future to be stunningly bright, stunningly yes. bright, so, so bright. bright because it's brighter than the I side. mean, you know, so. <laughs> you know, so I'm, I'm just hoping for more opportunities to learn. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm I'm learning from everybody else. And that's why, I mean, you are here to have this first ever collaboration. Yeah. <laughs> so I just want to have a lot of opportunities to learn as much as possible, perfect my craft mm -hmm. and not relax in the zone that I'm in. I have to step yeah. out of my comfort zone and then reach the highest, the highest of highest of limits, you know. Mm -hmm. So basically that's what I see the future to do for me and what I also want to do for the future, you know. And then there's the other thing that I do apart from content creation, I'm also a full worker, like nine to five right. worker. I want to be saying nine to five because you know I, I work with an international NGO and you know it's 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 full vim capacity. Full time. You don't you don't have a rest. I mean you can rest but it's not like you go to work at nine and then cruise close at five. It Sometimes you get home late. You know, it doesn't like happen like early. that. True. It doesn't happen like that. You have to work in the night sometimes, sacrifice a lot of sleep. So combining um, content creation and nine to five job hasn't been easy, but I'm glad I found a balance to um, do all of this at the same time. So that's what I do aside content creation. I'm also a car star as well. And yeah, basically that's all I, I tell. Okay, that's nice. So well, we are going to hear from you as well. Nine. Well, you just you just hoping for the best. I'm just hoping like everything is made. Mm -hmm. I'm just hoping to get to a point where, if someone has an occasion, like oh let me mm -hmm. go on Amazon bid and see what to wear, you yeah. know, like that that thing. Yeah. Like that's what I want. That's where I want to get to. Yeah. So we'll get there. Shala. Definitely. We'll get Definitely. There. And anything and, you do aside content creation. Yes. So I am a banker. Yay. <laughs> Money, oh money, money, money. I don't see the money though, but but yeah, I'm a bank. Mm -hmm. I'm not with a branch, but yeah, I work with one of the banks. Since the COVID started, we've, we've been running some odd hours shifts. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Right. So you can imagine going to work mm -hmm. and you have to, you don't even have to have your phone around. Yeah. But yeah. some in some way, somehow. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I do the editing during my lunch breaks mm -hmm. or when I'm in the Uber getting back home and right. doing something. Right. It's not easy, but. Since we say we will do it, we will do it. We will do it. The film is there. We do it. Do the hard yeah, things, you know. So, yeah. We'll do it. So, what are your social media handles so that my followers? Yes. Yes. So, with Facebook is Paris Amarita Singh. You can miss me. I'm the only one in the entire world using that name on Facebook. So, Instagram is Ama underscore Paris. Mm -hmm. um, TikTok Ama Paris five. And then on the new YouTube. Our party! Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and you know, if you haven't seen me before, I am Juliana Amwatin on Instagram. Please, we've is all seen me. Juliana Amwatin. Everybody has seen you is before. Dead Juliana Amwatin. Yes, Dead Juliana Amwatin. You see, there's the dead. Yeah, the one there's the only. Dead Juliana Amwatin. Everybody has seen you before. You've all seen me. This has been nice. Yeah, this has been nice. I'm Great glad you came. Time. Thank oh. you too for having me Thank here. Thank you for coming. Okay. I, I'm, Thank I'm you. so much grateful. Thank you. <laughs> so lush. much lush. So, you're welcome so guys thank you all so much for watching and sticking with us i hope this has been helpful let us know 
and what you think about all the various topics that we touched and if we have the chance and resources of course we will be able to we'll film another, another one hopefully one. next time until then we are going to see you soon just bye bye it's fabulous it's be, be amazing <laughs> be nice alright guys bye, nice bye guys <laughs>